uh, let's talk about this this show because this was this was a there's a lot of stuff that happened on this show as well. WWE man, they give you they give you meat on the bone is what I like to say. We we ended the night I think with probably the biggest news of the night. What everyone's going to be chatting about: Don Mysterio teams with Liv Morgan to take on Zelina Vega and Rey Mysterio Jr. Yeah, I still call him Junior. Why? Uh, Don. <laughs> It's been Dom 20 years, Jack. Why? Was, no, wait, why? <laughs> wait, how come everyone could call him Walter or Bri Daniel Bryan or whatever, yeah. but I'm the bad guy because I call him by his full government name. Dropping Junior's old at the driver rental car, and now you're going to put him sick in the flag and be like, no, it's Junior. Listen, I, I, I'm going to spell it M-I-S-T-E-R-E-I-O. <laughs> no. No. Oh. Uh, um, no, it's... Uh, Ray Mysterio Jr. That's that's how I grew to know him. It's still Ray Mysterio Jr. to me. Dom is upset. He has to team with Liv, but they work on some tag team moves together. Uh, after a rough start in the match, Dom and Liv end up working together pretty well. And with Liv's help, Dom beats his dad for the first time ever. The Lovebirds try to celebrate, but here comes Rio Bloody Ripley. She chases off Liv and has words for Dom. But the show cuts off before we can see what happens next. Jimmy, coming to you oh. for this one. Lots of stuff happened. A lot of story told here. The mm -hmm. big takeaway, though, is Rhea Ripley coming back. Do you think this was the right way to bring her back? Do you think they executed perfectly? I don't know about perfectly, but it was a really exciting way to bring her back. Nobody expected it. It came out of the blue. We don't know her status right now. Is she medically cleared to compete? That's going to be the question because it seems kind of quick, depending on what the injury was. But uh, uh, something you said, though, it cut off. Where did it cut off well, on your feed in the U.S.? Because in Canada, my understanding from what you just said, we had it run a little longer. Oh, so it cut it off for me. In the it ring? looked like, yeah, in the ring, it looked like Dom was about to give her a hug, but then she right. like kind of just like was fading as it looked like she was pushing past him, but I didn't actually see what happened. Okay, so what we saw up here, um, hey, I guess with the exchange rate, uh, is Rhea, <laughs> just, Rhea just walked right past him out of the ring. Dom kept chasing her and tried to apologize and tried to stop her. She just kept walking and they walked all the way back into Gorilla. We didn't Wait, see anything on. in Gorilla, but watch Do I have to the move to Canada to watch Raw now? This is extra content every week? No. It, it, what you got to do is write a strongly worded letter to Sling for cutting <laughs> off my, my fee. Sling. <laughs> I'm not doing your dirty work. I want to go to Canada. All right. I am getting a pen and paper, and I am going to write a letter, and you are not going to like what it has to say, Sling. The problem is, Jack, <laughs> nobody's going to be able to read your paper written in by ink with a pen. They can only read stuff that is typed out on a computer and emailed now. That's it. Okay. So you're saying I'm clicking this pen constantly for nothing? Yes. Yes. <laughs> The clicky stuff I don't get. Is that what it is? Uh, what? Mike Martin here is clicking. Oh, uh, I, got it. I got it. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't hear it. So, Mike, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, Mike actually says, yeah, because Jimmy's going to click the ink out of it. Uh, <laughs> so, Slang, I hope you're not a sponsor. Because if you are, I'm sorry. But if you aren't... <laughs> Sling coming for you. Uh, Flobo, uh, first off, I just got to point out one of my favorite parts tonight was the judgment day looking around the corner like the little rascals. Oh, yeah. <laughs> as, they <were> watching, <laughs> yeah. as they were watching what was going on with Liv and, and Dom. Uh, I thought this was actually built perfectly. Something that they do that they've done that's been really good is how one, Dom has not really been. Uh, playing along with this he actually has been trying to push live back but also live has delivered a lot of value to the judgment day and now directly to dom and helping him finally get a win over his dad this is it's so i love that that aspect of it is there as opposed to just lives annoying now ria's here yeah i think that's going to be the ultimate the story right like Nobody really wants to find out where Dominic Mysterio. Like even even Ray Mysterio was like, "Oh, this guy." But the idea of someone coming into your sphere of influence and basically leveraging favors to everyone on the squad and the team going, "Hey, mommy or 
Captain Mommy, whatever. <laughs> you, you were out for so long, we found other options. This is a revenge tour, Jack. <laughs> uh, I I thought that this was absolutely a, just a, a fantastic way to end the show. I thought it was a fantastic way. To, even though I feel like a lot of people sort of knew she was coming back. I didn't know. I just saw people tweeting about it. But then like it just felt like, oh, it's happening. It's happening. And it was actually in a good way. Like I was like, here it is. It's coming. And I was just waiting this whole match for it to happen. Um, but Rhea's here. I'm excited to see what she does. And I think it was smart, Jimmy, that they – didn't let us see too much because, as we always say, now I'm hooked. What's going to happen next week? I got to tune in to find out. Yeah, no, absolutely. Leave people wanting more, and that's exactly what they did, especially down in the United States. I still, even with seeing them walk to the back, wanted to find out what's going on back there. So they're leaving you wanting more, and that's the perfect thing. Another little thing during the match is for the uh, Liv and Dominic team to win. Another little thing I noticed, which made sense to me, was – uh, Liv sliding the chair in the ring to distract the referee. We've seen that before from her, so it's a constant thread. I like that. It, it's keeping it consistent with her character and then doing little interference where uh, she had she pulled Dom's leg and he landed on his yeet flies to cause the finish. So, <laughs> uh, I got a, a, a good question for you, Flobo. Mike Martin here. Uh, by the way, I got to actually say, Mike Martin, you had a great comment here where to go. Uh, about the pen that no one else hears. He says, I hear voices in my head. They talk to me. They <laughs> <laughs> uh, tremendous. Uh, Mike Martin does ask, though, Flobo, do you guys think the wedding pics posted takes away from the angle? Now, for those who don't know, Rhea Ripley was married while she was away to Buddy Matthews over in AEW. Congratulations to them. But do you mm -hmm. think that them making that public hurts this or are we in a world where it's like we get it uh it's gonna hurt a lot of these wrestling podcasts because you think when the smartest guy in the room they go well we saw pictures so it's not real but look man if anyone who's ever watched an episode of entertainment tonight or ugh, extra will know that sometimes people get married in real life and the movies themselves can be different so it doesn't really necessarily matter i'm still on board this well, extra still kind of weird why the shot at extra who's who was the host on extra now it's Billy Bush, but they have this weird black and white and blue color scheme. It's kind of weird, man. Billy Bush is still doing what? that show? Oh, oh yeah, baby. I thought it was like wasn't Maria Menounos there, or was that um Casey that's all Slater? news, Jack? <laughs> Maria Menounos. Billy so Bush the movies. <laughs> so that's what he's doing now since he was president? Or is that a different Bush? That's a different Bush. <laughs> it's a, it's a, well, Billy Bush got involved with the other president. He was in the recording with oh. uh, what's his name. But the idea was anyway. I wouldn't say their yeah. wedding photos does not distract what happens with Rhea Ripley. Yeah, baby ice. No respect for Mario Lopez. Yeah, AC Slater. Flo. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Ector was great when Mario Lopez was on. They gotta bring him back. That's all I'm saying. Listen, he was brought. He's so he's called Zach Morris. Hey, Preppy. Pre does that hurt your heart as a blonde person as well? 30 blonde person? I did this... identify with Zach Morris. <laughs> <laughs> Zach Morris is trash. Do they still call him preppies? That's why I do. Do they still call him preppies in 2024? I don't know. I don't I think no so. Idea. I don't know. I have man. no idea. <laughs> 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 tough questions. Everyone in, in the chat under 20 years old, let us know if you've ever heard the phrase preppy before. <laughs> <laughs>